Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live. Uh, before we dive in, we'd like to play a short video. This is a first reveal of a new game coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch this year. And right after, we'll see live gameplay and dig into some of the deep battle mechanics the game has to offer. So please take a look. Hey, welcome back. So Bakugan Champions of Vestroya. Let's introduce everyone. I'm Sam and I'm here with uh, Tyler from Nintendo and two special up, guests. Everyone? We've got Steve. <laughs> hey, Tyler. We've got we've got Steve Robert from Spin Master. Hey, Steve. Thank you for joining us. Hello, brothers. And we've got Kenny Ilko from WayForward, one of my absolute favorite developers. And we'll want to shout out a special thanks to uh, publisher Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. So Kenny and Steve, thank you. Welcome, and uh, let's let's see the game. Let's jump in. All right, so let's go over some features first. In Bakugan Champions of Astroia, you are the hero in an epic action role-playing game with an original story expanding on the hit TV series and toy franchise. We've designed a unique, real-time, and turn-based brawling system offering pick-up-and-play ease and layers of strategy to discover. There's plenty of depth in our game, including faction resistance, increasing your Bakugan stats via in-game progression. Plus, you can selectively modify up to four special ability slots for each Bakugan on your team before and after the battle. In addition to brawling, which you'll be doing a lot of in our game, explore an RPG world across a variety of environments and engage in over 100 quests. In all, you're, you'll collect over 80 Bakugan, plus 200 special ability types and upgrades to help you and your Bakugan become champions. Did I mention 80 Bakugan? Actually, it's 81, because we've listened to our fans and we're bringing back Leonidas. Lastly, we're proud to announce in Bakugan Champions of Astroia, you can play against brawlers around the world and online head-to-head -head multiplayer. All right, Kenny, let's get our brawl on. All right, we'll pick up the first fight down here. So I'm basically uh, jumping in a mid-story quest here. Uh, I was sent by a uh, local kid to uh, go and do some practicing before some uh, tournaments coming up. All right, the brawl's beginning. Yeah, immediately you get a sense right. for just how huge they are. Yeah, the uh, the scale of the Bakugan are uh, the intent was to make sure we kept uh, kept the epic feel. You know, Bakugan are anywhere from like two, three, four stories tall. So we wanted to ensure that that came through in combat as much as possible. Uh, so, you know, the combat system is kind of a hybrid uh, to the uh, TV show um, as people are uh, watching the TV show and then the toy and TCG. So, you know, we're running around here in the hide matrix uh, real time, collecting energy cores, which are those uh, blue hexagons on the field. Uh, the, those energy cores give you uh, the equivalent of mana in like a fantasy RPG game. So uh, on the bottom left corner, that's my four abilities. Those are, uh, you know, the equivalent of, you know, essentially casting a spell. So uh, right now I'm uh, getting beat down a little bit uh, as I'm talking, but I will uh, change the course here quickly. So one thing you'll, uh, one thing you'll notice also with the energy core is so we, uh, we bring in some tactics and decision making uh, just from the energy cores uh, alone. See the core she just picked up there? 
was a uh, small energy glow, which means it has a lower, uh, lower quantity of energy that's going to supply you. The bigger the glow, the more energy you get. So now it becomes a decision of, you know, do I want to get these one or two close cores or do I want to go for the far bigger core uh, with more energy uh, deeper into, while well, deeper into the field while passing up, you know, other options. It's kind of interesting is like resource management where you're having to collect the uh, energy cores, but also plan what attacks or abilities you're going to use. Are you going to be quick to attack or are you going to save more energy? And the strategy there is uh, really what it comes down to. And it looks like you won that brawl. Indeed, well yeah. Nice I mean, work, to your point. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say by the skin of your teeth, you, you had 12 health left. <laughs> <laughs> That was a nail biter. I had a, I had another Bakugan in reserve. <laughs> but uh, yeah, to your yeah, so point, Kenny... Tyler. Uh, you know, one. Of... Sorry, Steve. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to give a little background on on story, um, really quick. Um, so basically, where Kenny ended up there was uh, in his last brawl in a, in a series of a quest because he wants to impress. Um, this local hotshot named Larry, who's organizing a local tournament. Um, overall, our story interweaves between a series of tournaments and a larger investigation into a mysterious and abnormal earthquake activity going on in San Barbara's, which is the town of our game. Yeah, so that's, like uh, the, there's a lot of focus on the brawling, here. but there's all of these other elements uh, going on in the game that you're going to want to, you know, I guess, constantly track uh, on top of just uh, your brawling strategies, right? Correct. That's right. So, you know, the the storyline I just picked up there uh, that I'm uh, quickly progressing through is uh, hitting on the point that Steve was talking about where uh, the that was one of your uh, good friends. She's telling you about some of the earthquake activity that's abnormal for the area going on. Uh, and she's investigating into it, and uh, I think that's kind of where your story starts to unfold for you. So now I'm just kind of uh, taking back my uh, poster pieces that I had found for for Larry. Oh, got one more quick thing to do for Larry. Pick up an item he lost here at the lake. Um, but returning back to the uh, the combat, you know, there's a there's, you're going into combat with a team of three Bakugan uh, and once you collect up to three, uh, and that's where a lot of the strategy is going to come into play between your Bakugan and your four abilities that you assign to the Bakugan, uh, which we'll get into a little bit more here in a, in a few minutes. So just something so, yeah, that I kind of noticed that uh, maybe others may have noticed as well is that your Bakugan, you are actually talking to, uh, but in battle, they're so much larger. And if, do you mind kind of going into a little bit of that relationship that you have with your Bakugan? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, Bakugan are, are sentient beings in the Baku in, in the universe. So uh, what you actually uh, also might have noticed is that the Bakugan appears slightly different, not just smaller, but a little bit different. So uh, when Bakugan are not in battles, as they uh, so frequently love to be in, uh, they actually uh, are smaller, much smaller in, in toy, uh, toy size, much like the real toy. Uh, and they, you know, your Bakugan are someone that you're actually befriending uh, as you go. That's pretty awesome. So, so you're gonna uh, build that relationship with your Bakugan as you continue to find more and uh, change up your roster. Correct. I see a familiar face. So, uh, <laughs> there he is. Dan Cuso. The infamous the Dan Cuso. <laughs> yes. So, uh, the awesome brawlers from the TV show again, uh, you know, you're going to get appearance from Dan here. Dan is, uh, kind of your tutorial guide, uh, much like they do in the TV show. They, uh, they will be streaming, uh, little information for you to help guide you through the game and get you uh, get you going on your strategies uh, and just your overall uh, open world experience. So 
here he's uh, telling us about, you know, I just got a Baku ability a card uh, from Larry, and he's telling me how I can assign it to a new Bakugan. Uh, again, one of the, the layers of, of strategy that you're going to have to consider is that uh, every Bakugan ability is associated to a single faction. So, there, you know, there's five factions, Pyrus, Heos, Darkus, Aquos, and Ventus. Um, so as you collect uh, Bakugan ability cards, as you can see, there's five here. Uh, there's only four there. You know, you'll start to get uh, basically what's the equivalent of a mini deck building opportunity. So you get all these cards that are part of your uh, part of your deck to assemble, and your deck is really just the, the four abilities that you're assigning to each Bakugan when you go into the fight. And now Larry is so that's where more that's where a lot of the strategy comes in. Oh, I'm sorry, Kenny, go ahead. Oh no, absolutely. Uh, I was just saying, Larry gives me more loot here. So yeah, you are correct. That is a lot of where the strategy is coming in. So personally, right, you for you, um... oh, go ahead, Tyler. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was just saying personally for you, Kenny. Uh, what kind of strategies do you like to, to implement with your Bakugan? Are you more of a uh, going in guns blazing head first or a little more strategic on adding more kind of buffs uh, or recovery? So, you, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good question. The, the Bakugan factions actually uh, kind of draw their own strategy. So again, leveraging as much as we can from the TCG and bringing that experience into the game uh for the different players that that'll recognize you know a lot of the a lot of the factions have their own playing style so uh, i generally try and adapt a playing style to the team i want to go in there but when i have my druthers you know uh, i like the uh, balance uh, of aquos and and all its things it can do uh but you know if i'm if i'm coming at you with a pyrus dragonoid uh, I will uh, just bring bring an aggressive attack approach. Hey, Kenny, awesome. what does she have for you there? Uh, she's just telling us about some uh, something she saw at the uh, fountain over here. Oh, there's a little sparkle. Let's check that out. So, all uh, right. I have, I have, uh, oh, nice. This be your you third Bakugan? Aquos, Indeed. So uh, a lot so of what you'll find and Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Sam. Oh, I was just going to say, now you're rocking a full team. Yeah. Uh, yes, I am. That is my third Bakugan. So early on, you know, you'll start off finding a one Bakugan. We jumped about 30 minutes into play here. Uh, but early on, you'll find your, uh, your initial Bakugan and then quickly pick up uh quickly pick up two more to fill out uh, a minimum team of three and then uh you know you'll keep on uh finding bakugan throughout the world by exploring uh or uh, hey, Kenny, real, real quick kind of, um sorry yeah. can you back oh good i wanted you to back out of that fight so you could strategize really quick before going in oh yeah apologies absolutely <laughs> Yeah, so you could see as he was engaging in conversation, they were about to start a brawl, but you got a sneak peek at your opponent's lineup. And that gave you an opportunity right. to, uh, as, as he was saying, um, drop out and then maybe rework your own team to, to counter what your opponent's going to be bringing into the brawl. Yeah, exactly. So, so uh, Tyler, to your, to your question, I just got rid of that heal for some more, <laughs> some more combat attack. <laughs> I hope that doesn't come back to, your to bite pirate you. <laughs> I, I also hope it does not come back to bite me. I'm, I'm going to do it with my Aqua Cindy. We'll see shortly. <laughs> I do like how you're able to switch out uh, those abilities. And uh, I think that adds a lot of depth to the battles, not only in-game, but if I'm uh, not mistaken, you'll be taking that online as well, correct? Uh, correct. That's absolutely right. Uh, so, you know, whatever team uh, and abilities you've built up throughout story mode uh, is exactly what you're able to take uh, into an online brawl. So there's the uh, two darkest that he's uh, bringing into the brawl with him. Time to drum up. 
Let's do this. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, and one of the, the other firepower things, comes uh, in handy. We'll see what we can do. And one of the other things that uh, you know you may or may not have noticed uh, when I was modifying my abilities on the uh, Bakugan screen, uh, every Bakugan has resistances to factions. So you know, it would, I wouldn't call it a uh, paper rock scissors system by any means, but uh, each faction has uh, essentially two two other factions that it, it defends well against while it's uh, weak against another faction. So just another layer of uh, things to think about uh, and ponder when you're going into battle. One of the reasons why, you know, you get that preview of who you're getting ready to go against and have the ability to make some uh, alternate decisions. I have to say your opponent has been uh, pretty quick to swap his Bakugan between the two that he has. And really fast right yeah he, he, he appears to have not liked his matchup to my uh dragonoid <laughs> originally so in combat you know aside from your uh, four uh, abilities that you're working with uh, we actually have other things you know we're, we're early gameplay so as you uh, evolve the bach of god and they get bigger and stronger there's uh there's other things that other mechanics that you know, we aren't gonna be able to see here, but uh, like Bakugir, uh, Bakugir are passive abilities that you kind of charge up as you play. Those are special cores that, you know, again, making a, a tactics level decision uh, during the real time combat. Uh, and then another big one is uh, team attacks, uh, you know, uh, pulling, pulling uh, more inspiration from the TCG and toy line. Uh, if I can uh, successfully charge up all three of my Bakugan here, which I am on my way to do, I will be able to pull off a team attack. So it's a lot about risk and reward, you know, as I'm charging up, taking the time to charge up these guys. Obviously, as you can see, I'm taking a bit of a beating here. Um, however, you know, I'm hoping that the payoff from my one large team attack is going to uh, equal the uh, equal the punishment I'm taking and more. Well, you hope you can pull There's, that off. Yeah. You gotta get those Bakugans. Yeah, you are, yeah, yeah, you are, you are competing with the other support. character. Oh, sorry, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. No, I'm just commenting on the battle. Fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I was just saying that you're competing with the other character to collect those uh, Bakugans as quickly as you can. That's right. Yeah, exactly. So the, you know, the, the cores on the field are, are not obviously in abundance. So uh, again, you know, another another layer of tactics that you'll be introduced to later on in the game is that uh, there's actually brawler abilities as well. So there's there's kind of uh, boost, boost gear, if you will, that allow you to do things like run faster or a force field that knocks your opponent down if you get within uh, a close range of them. So, you, you know, balancing the strategy elements of what Bakugan and what factions you're bringing in to the, uh, into the battle, along with what you're doing at, at the real-time combat level here. I think we're getting, oh, getting close. There's my team attack. There you go. Team attack! <laughs> Yo, one hit. That was worth it. So nice. far, so good. <laughs> Still has one more to go. And only 92 left on this guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ouch. I can take a couple hits. <laughs> Let's see if I can beat him to the core. Yes. But it was a big risk spending all of that time collecting those Baku yeah. cores to, for all of your Bakugan so that you can build up enough to do that big team attack. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And and the later you get into the game, the, the riskier that kind of decision uh, decision becomes. You know, I have a little bit of an edge as I'm a three three versus two uh, advantage on him. But you know, very soon in the story progression, you're you're going to be facing strictly three on three battles or brawls. Well done, Kenny. All right. Nice Thank you. Yeah. That was a great brawl. Epic team attack. Nice work. So I, I think that's all the time we have today uh, for, for Bakugan Champions of Vistroya. Thank you so much.
uh, Kenny and Steve for, for joining us and showing us your game. Um, do you have any final thoughts you want to share with us uh, before we head out? Yeah, I just want to say we're really, really excited to be able to share the game today, and we hope our fans and beyond love playing it. Yeah, and uh, right. thank you thank for you. the opportunity to be on Treehouse. And, uh, you know, we've loved working yes. with Spin Master on the IP, so it's a, it's a great opportunity. That's and we awesome. love working thank with Wave Thank you, guys. Mark. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kenny Thanks and Steve. Lot, and thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Tyler, for joining us. Um, I hope Thanks. everyone enjoyed what you, what you saw today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay safe. Bye, everyone.